No. But no That's be that would be something we kept for ourselves. Yeah, it sure would. It's really heavy. It's nice. Wouldn't you love these in the grand foyer? Yeah, yeah. of course. Well, some of them are listed, so it'd be interesting to see what his prices are. Look at this gorgeous sink. Poisson. Some plates here. So 10 euros a piece, that's about right. Um, however, that's about how much I offer it to you. I 
like these. These are nice. Hmm. I'm glad we came here. Okay, these are fun. These are. Look at all the leaders, the world leaders. This would make a great gift. He takes cards. I like this little bamboo set. Um, I already did. Yes, yes. Ornaments. Mm. These are gorgeous. Yeah, the swans are really beautiful. You know what they are? For little condiments. out west in the US. Mm. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Oh, the details are really good. It's been spray painted though the the frame has been worked over a bunch. This is great. Oh wow, look at these. Le jardin, la lecteur, la coquette, la repose. Side, another condiments thing. Yeah, I I just don't know if there's an interest in these. Oh, of course. Oh my. They're missing the original spoons. Oh my, those are cute. Does that yeah. have a price on it? This one's broken. Oh. Does that have a price or no? No. Look at the two pillars. Wouldn't that be beautiful to set the two pillars? You set them in the foyer on each side and just looks like um, sculptures. Mm. Oh, that's great. Mm. Quand tout à coup, surgissant de coin de l'ombre, oh. oh wow. An old one. Yeah. Look at that. That just uh, makes a oh my God. lot of mold. Quarante-cinq. 
wide on each side. Oh. It's a truck trough. Truck. I've never seen a basket like that. Look at her buy. It's only 45. Yeah. This person has more my vibe, as you can see by all the different pottery and the baskets. I already have something similar like this at home that I'm using in the potter's cottage or in the garden. Oh, we, we always uh, are a little late on the patio furniture. I'd like to find out about the lions. Maybe it's them right there. This is, I've never seen a mirror like this before. It's very unusual, it's gorgeous. <laughs> These two definitely. Um, I like this painting right here for the kitchen. <laughs> Oh wow. Find out how much the frog is. Those are amazing. We need to find an ATM. <laughs> Thank you. 
I prefer this one. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of African antiques. I don't know what this is, but it's beautiful. I think it's part of the molding of the ceiling. Do you see the green birds? Justin, right there. Mm -hmm. Well, those chairs definitely would have fit in our car. This one is really cute. Mm -hmm. Hold on. That one is really cute. Yeah, that one's nice too. Well, it's not wood, so it's not going to get mold on it. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? He's got one here. He's got another one over there. You can do a custom-made one. This is a beautiful space. Huh? I know this village exists. Huh? This is amazing. Let's go this way. I bought a bulldog, the same one, it's still 10 euros, and then someone bought the sheriffs, unfortunately. I was a little late on that. Oh, wow. It's incredible. Yeah. Super. Well, I have to say that was a very successful brocante. This is not a vide grenier, it is a brocante. Good morning. Do you hear that bird? 
It's been doing that for the last 10 minutes. I wonder if it's calling out for its mother. Good morning, sunshines. So, no sunshine today. It started raining at about 6, 7 p.m. last night. And, well, I wouldn't call it rain, but just a steady sprinkle. And all night, all throughout the morning, it's not letting up. So it just kind of feels like a fall early spring sort of day. Um, we are headed off to a new village called Evzik, which happens to be close to one of my favorite villages here, Esparos. There's a lovely little restaurant, a boutique that sells handmade products and regional products, and it's very cute just to go there, have a cup of coffee, sit outside, and I hope to show that to you one day. But we are going to Abzac for another Vide Grenier. As you've seen in the earlier footage, we visited a brocant yesterday in Tres sur Bays, which is a lovely village. Um, and you would have seen these lions, and we did it. We bit the bullet. We had to get them. What do you say? Aren't those adorable? <laughs> so cute they, they remind me of Laffy and his balls he just loves playing ball or um, I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you as he runs off with his ball throughout the yard so we're gonna figure out where to put those and we just set them here in the mini garage which I don't think I've ever shown you from the inside um, so I'll give you a little tour how exciting <laughs> so this is the mini garage the roof, or the tiles, rather, fairly new. Structure's original. Those beams have got to be almost 200 years old, but they're holding up very well. So yeah, this is the view. We've got the Cascading Harry, or the uh, Van Verge. Oh, Justin's ready to go. So that's the little mini garage. I also need to get some supports here, and I really do hope that I can find them uh, during one of our yard sale haunts. Well, it's, all start, it's always weird saying yard sale. I like saying vide grenier. I just, who was it? I think, David, it was you. You commented, and you said that it just sounded much more posh than saying a garage sale, essentially. A uh, yard sale uh, or a village sale. Everyone just brings their stuff. Some of it's nice. I mean, you do have professional sellers there. Um, and then, uh, of course, the large scatter of people that just want to get rid of their junk. But either way, you just never know what you're going to find. And that is why we go so often. And are you coming with us? Have you gone make yet? Okay, this is the village. Justin and I and Laffy hiked up to that tower there. I did not bring my lucky bag because of the sprinkle. His stuff looks really interesting. See the roller skates? It said La Croissette Orange. This area of the village is an example of what I meant by sometimes when you visit these vide greniers or empty attic, which is essentially a village cell, you will find professional cellars, which are called brocanteurs. And the way you can tell is that these sellers have a very large curated selection of antique and vintage wares and they're usually more expensive 
compared to, you know, the neighbor who's selling the things that they no longer have use for, no longer want, or just want to get rid of for any reason. These stalls happened to be the most interesting that day, and I think it may have been due to the poor weather conditions, which is very understandable. You know, who wants to stand out there under the constant sprinkling of rain? I get it. Justin and I normally go first thing in the morning, and we usually miss out on some of the festivities that the village offers. They'll open up a restaurant around midi at noon. Sometimes there'll be music, and just a large gathering. It's more dynamic, more of a kind of a light party atmosphere. I prefer going around lunchtime or towards the end of the day because I imagine when you're bringing all these things in, you're hauling these things into the village, and I think where it's more likely that you don't want to bring all those things back home. So I believe sellers are more likely to budge on their prices at the end of the day. So I'll try to convince Justin and see if we can go towards the end of the day and see how well we do. Laffy, you're such a little lion lover. That's so cute. I love it. So should we do a self? <laughs> Can you move? Robotic Mr. Move! <laughs> <laughs> 